about to want to take this shit. Uh, it should be a very short video. Um, I wanted to, for a while, to do a um, return of my monthly series, which if you follow me, I guess, what, three years ago now, four years ago? Um, I did monthly play, uh, playlist. I believe I did a two-year straight, I think 2018, 2019. Um, and I'm doing this return of because it helps me focus my music curation. And I just say this because it's a challenge, I guess, to the, the listener. If you do want to kind of focus your what you're listening to, what you're curating, I think plays are a good good idea. And um, something that's easy yet, um, I think, thematic, uh, like a monthly playlist, uh, does I think a little bit better than just dumping songs and like a, um, let's see, something like this that I did when I was kind of more of a casual listener just a general theme like rap songs and you just drop shit in there um you know i mean that doesn't really there's not much curation going on there um not to say that i really go through here too much and curate per se i kind of really see if i like a track first and then i put it in here but uh, i'm not like actively going through after i put it in here to delete it or anything unless it's really like something i just don't fuck with but for the most part all these tracks in here are songs i listen to a few times and Got a feel for then threw it in here. And um, but no further ado, I'm just gonna kinda look over it real quick and uh, you know, say some of the highlights that I like that I really think you should add, and then we'll just guide her real quick. Here I go again. Uh was it like a hobo uh I was born to I was born to walk alone. Like a hobo I was born to walk alone. That lyric, I don't know. Um and then I mean it's just a general like the same kind of I guess feeling you would get out of um that Green Day song, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Uh, that reminds me a lot of this one. Uh, I love that one. It's just like all the clouds. Lily Konisberg, a great vocalist. Ella Prieto, Libra, Libra E. E. Serena. Uh, I believe I got this from, um, I think it was the Adult Swim podcast, uh, playlist. They uh, kind of like these annual shout outs. I think I got these two from there. Uh, I believe they're all in Spanish, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then there was just a, uh, I think I got these from like the JoJo's uh, Stone Ocean um references spot uh, playlist and uh green and grass at home i really love this one i really recommend this one van halen uh legendary obviously and uh don't go away by oasis i believe it's also from their playlist but i love oasis uh specifically i love morning glory uh uh i was gonna say wish master uh <laughs> don't look back in anger uh and i also love hey now uh super Supernova, some shit, uh, Champagne Supernova, a uh, pretty good song, um, Stop Crying Your Heart Out, Oasis, I mean, when they got a good song, they got a good song, and, uh, if you want to be a badoobie, be a badoobie, uh, I hate that name, but cute individual, cute music, very, uh, kishy almost at moments, uh, this one is just a very lovely song, she makes very good, uh, relationship music, I guess. Everybody Hates Tron, Ben Reaper 2. I believe this came out in the end of 2021, early 2022. Uh, I can't find the... For, I hate how they don't have the months on the uh, desktop version of Spotify. I believe this came out like October, November, I want to say. Um, not quite as good as Luka Tronchich, but some really good tracks on here. Uh, a few I could recommend, but this one is a pretty good one. It flips the Everybody Hates Chris theme song, kind of. Interesting song. Uh, something for you. I got this... Searching for uh, something for two by um, Magdalena Bay. Um, I took took a while to remember that. Yeah, light turn green, kind of like this smoke anthem. Uh, good driving music. Uh, Pay and spray, father single. I like this pretty good. Uh, Love me more, Mitski. Uh, some pretty some really good songs off of uh, the, 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 what's it called? Laurel Hill. I don't know if Love Me More is one of the better ones. I think it's good, though. I liked it. Uh, I believe this is an instrumental track from 2007. My, me listening from 2017. Um, I think it might be Math Rock, because I was really into Math Rock back then. But uh, as far as me remembering off the top of my head, I don't remember. I think this is also an instrumental track. Uh, give those two back to back. To back. Uh, I think that's a that's a rock song, if I remember correctly. Uh, Arise, Bell, Eat. I, was in a, I, was, I think I listened to, like, probably... I was like 20 Yeet songs in like a couple of weeks span. I don't know. Yeet is, I keep on trying to find a way to like Yeet, and I, I don't think I do. 
uh, Cash of Kong Baby Tron feature. Uh, Everybody Here Hates You by Courtney Barnett. Is that off? That's, I don't think it's off the latest project. No, that was just a random Courtney Barnett song that was suggested to me on the mitts. Uh, shout out to Courtney Barnett. Uh, if you want, like, not like a days ago, but almost apathetic sounding music. A uh, good track off of uh, Shy Season Deluxe uh, Edition. Quite a few of those, but this is, I think, specifically part of the Deluxe part of that. Again, Yeet, uh, Chromatic Sherry. It's just a fantastic song. Song Cry by Jay Z. One of the quintessential storytelling tracks from a quintessential storyteller. Um, I think that's, this wasn't the first time I listened to this when I first threw it on here, I guess about 13 days ago now. But I want to say it's one of the first times I listened to it. Really good. Uh, I think this is a theme song or part of a soundtrack for an anime. Yeah. Uh, and it fits that. Like, if you want a quintessential, I guess, anime soundtrack movie or anime movie soundtrack song, there you go. Neon Indian. I think this is kind of, if I'm going to like lean more towards dream pop, um, it was completely instrumental in nature. It's not really much devoted to the way to go and fuck it. much in vocals, but I like, I love that track quite a bit. I also listened to about, I think, 180 Tchaikovsky songs uh, in about three days span, four days span, maybe. Because this album, uh, I accidentally, I thought it was like a couple of songs, and I accidentally added it to the K. 170 songs. I listened to all of this, and I listened to the Tchaikovsky project, just had my own volition, but yeah. Uh, Purity Ring, they make fantastic kind of, I, I put everything under the, the label of ethereal or uh, ephemeral music. No, I like that one. Uh, first time I listened to this was actually nine days ago, I think. Uh, I can't remember. I think I've listened to Skim through, um, Money Store before, because I know I've listened to, uh, Double Helix, and I've seen Footage. I know I've listened to those two before. Get It Got, yeah, I've listened to that too. But I don't know. I just don't remember listening to Hustle Bones, and it's, uh, an incredible beat. I mean, that beat, that sample they go with there, incredible. Uh, New Japanese Breakfast, uh, kind of more akin, if you look at the cover kind of goes that too i think that's her mother uh more akin to some of her uh i would say psycho pump type tracks and this was uh this was i listened on this on apple music uh first off sick so that's why that's there uh i have an apple music one uh, i'm just doing a try to kind of see how apple music works like trying to get a feel for it um i don't know what's all in this one let's see I go to my Spotify. If you want to see the other version, yep. Uh, that's a picture of me. Um, busy day. Wake up lucky. I try to revisit that album. It's pretty good to me. I mean, it wasn't like the greatest thing of all time, but it's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah. Also, I want to explain this. The reason why I have an NFT is because like the theme for these is supposed to be like just throwing uh, NFTs from the internet. Uh, I'm not anti NFT. I'm not really too pro NFT. I don't own NFT personally, but. I think it's just funny to see people pissed off at NFT. I just love seeing liberals pissed off. I'm not a conservative or even right wing, but when liberals are pissed off, it is the funny shit of all the time. Objectively speaking, people who are left wing, they get pissed. They get very pissy. And so do right wing people. But left wing people, it's just on the internet. Right wing people, they get pissed off like a fucking bonfire. And I don't exist in bonfire circles. So I do this on Twitter and I love seeing... Uh, liberals uh piss um busy day uh lucky and filthy wake up lucky try to revisit it uh around this time of the month i actually gave it a full playthrough uh a couple times and it's not as bad as people made out to be i think people just want another free wave three even a days before three quality product from lucky these some of these sounds are making it gonna be pretty bad and uh they haven't gotten that into 2019 so pod savage um I don't know, I just saw someone in passing that I think had, it's might have been a miss or something like that, I just threw it on there. Uh, it's a good instrumental. D. Savage is okay on this. Crosshairs by Danger Doom. Uh, this was in a headphone playlist uh, to test headphones out, and I listened to it. The instrumental, it does knock a little bit. Uh, a main guy, so I was looking for Kanye West, they typed Weston wrong. It's actually a really good song. I think it's like, I don't remember what, the, I think it reminded me a lot of, um, the K.K. Slider type uh, remixes of like popular songs, but it's a really good song. First time I listened to the Lollipop remix, uh, January 2022. Never listened to this before. Kanye killed that shit, and then Wayne has like the infamous, you know, baby text, uh, late text shit, late text, late text, uh, little piece towards the end. Really good song. Uh, and I started listening to shit called Lollipop. Uh, the Cordettes, I believe that is um, 
Motown Records uh, artist group. I actually did a whole class on like rock and roll history, and a big part of that was of uh, uh, Motown Records, like the Supremes and shit like that. Uh, the Temptations, I believe, also was on there. Uh, Sick Boy Rory, you gotta love him. Uh, listen to Space Bar, great, great album. Uh, Drew, I believe it came out 2021, November ish, I wanna say. Uh, my favorite off of there is. Uh, what's it? Uh, Something Man? Meteor Man, Meteor Man. Uh, I think all the songs are, thema are themed after. Well, most of them are themed after Space, but some of them are themed off Bar because Mojito by Nicholas, or featuring Nicholas F. Also, another really good one. Uh, but I love Me, Your Man. Solid verse by Drew. Probably not one of the stronger on that album himself, but uh, I would contend that Ugly Man's verse on there is one of the best, I would say, easily. Uh, played this on there. I didn't really have a reason for playing Call Me If You Get Lost, but I think it was just somewhere in the, the, the realm, and I gave it a couple of listens. I've mean, listened to it before, but like, you know. Uh, Losing My Mom and Baby Smooth. Um... Then kind of closing out here, Cap Capri songs by FK Twigs. I think it's safe to say that this is one of the leading albums of the year to this point. I mean, I mean that was a mistake, but like some of the the, the, the realms you kind of cross in here, I mean, it really shows you FK Twigs is like if you are a legitimately great artist, I think you have range intrinsically. I mean you can be a great artist and talk to your artist and not have realms. And she can get into, you know, dance, club pop shit, like Tears in the Club. Meta Angel kind of close to some of the normal shit. Uh, I think Poppy Bones, Poppy Bones, is the Afro pop track. I want to say because there's an Afro pop track, there's like a dance pop track, a dance hall track. Um, Light Beamers, uh, Darjeeling. I mean, you can look at George Smith, kind of understand where that's coming from. I mean, she just goes some different realms on here. I think this is, to me, probably the leading album of the year candidate. Although I do need to listen to some more albums that came out this year. I'm um, still trying to phrase or really get things put together with uh, my 2019 joints, which at this point probably not use work very much. I can't believe it's already February 2022, but fuck. So yeah, that's it. Um, January, February's on the way. Uh, I don't use Apple, Apple Music too much, as you can see, but Apple Music, uh, doo -doo -doo, Spotify. And then I have to find a cover art, but February, just come to my uh, name, Jabs on Spotify. You can see this shit. Uh, and we're getting into it. We'll have a good time. I'll probably try to really start listening to some more albums. But uh, peace.